Hello and welcome to Elida for tonight's pregame show presented by Lox Chiropractic and Weight Loss. Lox Chiropractic and Weight Loss offers area residents good health through chiropractic care. Evan Skilleter and Mark Bagley with you tonight for opening night of high school boys hoops on WOSN Bags. So excited to be with you. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Yeah, I had a great Thanksgiving. It's great that Hoops is back. It's a modified tip-off, right. but it is a tip-off tonight. Absolutely. It'll be Bath against Elida tonight. And Bath, a team that struggled. Actually, both of these teams struggled last year. Coach Bath, 8-16 and 16 a year ago. And before we start, I actually want to talk about some keys to victory. Let's start with Bath. Yeah, let's start with Bath first. They're very young, and they've got a box out and rebound early versus a lot of size and athleticism. Number two, you got to keep the ball in front of them tonight because Elida's going to try to drive and dish. And then patience and poise with a really young team. They have four sophomores starting and a junior. And then next for Elida, they got to rebound the basketball. They're much bigger. They want to get 10 offensive rebounds tonight and get set chance opportunities in game one. They got to defend every possession against their shooters. Bath does have good shooters. They want to make sure they defend uh, against their shooters. And number three, take care of the basketball and eliminate the live ball turnovers so Bath can't get easy shots. Elida with just three wins a year ago, three and 20, but both these teams led by head coaches in their second years at the program. Really looking forward to seeing how things go. And we are going to step aside. Tip off coming up after the break right here on WOSN. Welcome back to the Union Bank Court, the Elida Fieldhouse, the spot for tonight's action. We mentioned it in the pregame, but opening night of boys basketball here on WOSN. Really looking forward to it as we take a look at our officials for tonight. Tate Mayberry, Clay Ehrman, and Jeff Klaus will be doing the honors here on opening night. The starting lineups being red. We'll start with the visiting team, the Bath Wildcats. They start with Jackson Foster, Xavier Tickle, Drake Craddock, Trey Crawford, and Cole Craddock. On the other side, the Elida Bulldogs wearing the white uniforms tonight. They start with Bryce Engel, David Etzcorn, Jackson Kovalt, Zori Island, and Seth sharp i'll tell you what bags that is a good look for the bath wildcats you see they're on the screen wearing the gold uniforms and i, I love it i've never seen anybody wear that color uniform it, it, it's a different kind of bath uh, gold and so they are new they're sharp and and again I, it's gonna be really interesting tonight evan to see what both teams uh bring you know opening night there's a lot of things that happen opening night that aren't always clean and crisp but look for the little things in effort tonight, and, and uh, I'm excited to see what, what this game brings. See the last meeting between these two, a Western Buckeye League matchup on January 7th of this year. Bath won a close one right here in the field house, 53 to 52, hoping for a good one like that tonight. Also, want to take a look at last season's recap. Bath finishing seven and 15, two and seven in the WBL. They did win. An overtime matchup against St. John's and, like we said, beat Elida right here as well as LCC. Elida last season finishing 3-19 and in Coach Tabler's first year at the helm of these Elida Bulldogs. Key wins over Bath Coldwater and Van Buren. And they ended up losing in the sectional semifinals to Napoleon. Bags mentioned it in the pregame, but kind of an abbreviated version of the tip-off classic this year because LCC, of course, still playing football. Yeah, the, the success in Northwest Ohio in football leads to a lot of weird schedules, and what it does affect, not only the team that, that's playing football, but other teams' schedules really get messed around, and when you play a 22-game schedule on a high school, it's, you know, you hope the weather's good in January because if not, th then you start losing games. We are underway. Bath winning the tip, but losing it right away. Trey Crawford driving to the hole, loses the handle, and now the Bulldogs will take over. It's the Cats versus the Dogs here on opening night. Elida moving it around the perimeter. Here's a three-pointer on the way. That one no good from Seth Sharp. And a foul on the rebound. It's going to stay with Elida. Bath tacked with their first of the half. And that's going to be a real two keys is going to be live ball turnovers for Bath tonight. And then they got a defense rebound. They're not very big. They're young, and they're all, you know, between 5'9 and 6 feet uh, that start. 
A foul was against Cole Craddock, the 5'9 sophomore, as Elida gets back to work. That's David Etzcorn thinking about a three, then dribbling into trouble. Possession held up, and referee pointed the wrong direction. It's actually going to be Elida basketball. Bath did win the tip, but remember that quick turnover. Coach Matt Tabler coming over from Perry last season to take over here at Elida. Program that is rebuilding, traditionally a good program as this one's sent into the backcourt. Etzcorn grabs it. And Coach Taves has done a great job at just creating excitement in the program uh, as well. I, I saw a picture of their alumni game the other night. They had a lot of people back, and that's always a good sign. Three-pointer on the way from the corner. That's no good. Seth Sharp missing that one. Bath pulls down the rebound. Here they come in transition. Cole Craddock, his pass right to me as I catch it one-handed, and it'll be a turnover. And that's two early turnovers, Evan. That's what happens when you're young and you're trying to play 100 miles an hour. But the ball went out of bounds to you, so therefore they can play defense now. <laughs> <laughs> little one-two-two two looks like. Island brings it up, gives it to Seth Sharp. Now back to man. Sharp all the way to the basket. Now a mid-range jumper on the way. That's no good. Island grabs the rebound. Jumper was taken by Bryce Angle. Elida with a second chance. That one tossed over to Sharp. Etzcorn, baseline. Etzcorn puts that arm out. He'll get called with his first, the first against Elida of the half. And this is pretty typical of game one. You try to make a lot of individual plays, and, and this is what happens. You, you, you drive when there's no driving angles, and, and you start turning it over and having charge. That was a good play by Bath. Had a full court man-to-man -man look. And I would expect pressure from Elida all night long against their young guards. Wildcats with Drake Craddock. Craddock over to Cole Craddock. Cole skip pass, corner three, Jackson Foster. That's short. Rebound pulled down by Bryce Angle. Two minutes in, 0-0 on that Web Insurance scoreboard. There's only been four four shots and three have been threes. And early in the, in the game, you want to get layups like this. Etzcorn misses, another offensive rebound. As Angle goes up, he loses the handle. And now here comes Trey Crawford. He lost it. Zori Island in transition. He's fouled. That'll be number two against Bath, and they're going to attack that against Xavier Tickle. Two early subs for uh, Bath. And correction, that's actually going to be the second foul against Cole Craddock. And he's one of the returning uh, leading scorers at about six points a game, so that really hurts early on. Elida sends it into the backcourt, but it's taken away by Drake Craddock. And Drake puts it in for the first bucket of this game. Bath on top, 2-0. Nothing. nothing better than a lap turnover to get your offense going. They're showing 1-2-2 two, two half-court trap here. Skip pass. Etzcorn, corner three, splash. Three Zori Island with the assist on the skip pass. And just like that, Bath gets their, or excuse me, Elida gets their first bucket and goes on top by one. Looks like Bass is spread it out and trying to dribble drive, penetrate with her, with her uh, quickness. Nice take to the hole, passes outside. Now a three on the way, that's no good. That was taken by Drake Craddock, but the follow-up is good. That's Cole Craddock with the bucket, his first. Three at the other end goes, and that's Jackson Kovalt and a quick Metzger financial timeout taken by Bath as we step aside as well. Six to four, Elida on top here in Elida. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. First timeout taken in this game is a 30 second timeout by Bath. They trail by two, six to four, and they'll inbound, trying to go the length of the court with full court pressure. And I really expect both teams to settle down here soon. 
Right now their lungs are burning. It's game one. They're, they're excited. They're nervous. They're anxious. A scoop layup, a foul. Shot no good from Drake Craddock, but he'll go to the line for two free throws. It's the second against Elida. We'll call that against Jackson Kovald, his first. And Drake's really quick uh, to his right hand. He, he's one of the returning players from last year. He averaged about six a game, too. That was a good take. First free throw up and good. Drake, one of two Craddocks on this roster, Drake and Cole, both sophomores. Substitute for Elida as Tanner Roberts, the junior, checks in. Craddock second on the way, he gets both. Score tied at six on the Web Insurance scoreboard. 4.35 and counting to play here in the first quarter. Bath takes it away. Ends up with Tickle. Tickle now outside, three-pointer on the way. Foster no good. Offensive rebound. That's Mitch Barr. He gives it up to Zach Welsh who misses the mid-range jumper. Now Island. Island to the bucket, left-handed layup, good. It'll be really neat to see his progression this year. He, you know, he started as a freshman and, and went through those wars, and now he's going back as a sophomore. That was a nice take. Three-pointer short taken by Drake Craddock. Now Island quickly in transition. Island, nice finish at the bucket. Island, four quick ones. Elida on top, 10-6. Bath coming quickly the other way. Drake Craddock, his pass taken away. Nice job there by Jackson Cobalt, not just to take the pass away, but to keep it in bounds. Now Elida fouled on the ground, says the referee. And Elida has done a really good job after the timeout of speeding up Bath. And that's what you do against players that have, have not much experience at the varsity level. You try to speed them up and get them to play faster. The foul was against Mitch Barr, his first, third against Bath. Ball in for Camden Howard, misses the layup. Good defense at the rim. Now Xavier Tickle the other way. Tickle inside. Foul called. Offensive foul. David Etzkorn taking the charge. And it's the fourth against Bath as we get another look at it here. A little out of control. That's Both teams have four turnovers, and both teams have taken the charge. So you can see they're, they're both over-penetrating right now. And that's, that's part of being a, a game one uh, mistake. A nice little step through, but an offensive foul called against Zori Island. So that's Island's first, fourth against Elida. Now Camden Howard checking in for the Bulldogs. Excuse me, that's Tory Thomas. Thomas, Tory, a senior. Yeah, he's got some experience coming back from last year. He's a big boy, and I, I look for Elida to get the ball inside to him with their size mismatch. Island, good pressure up top. Bath has to get it up quickly, and not enough time on the clock as they get called for a 10-second violation and yet another turnover for Bath. Make it five. I think Coach Powell wanted a, a hand check there, and uh, they're having a nice conversation down in the corner right now. I think they're talking about Thanksgiving. Probably. Probably. Yeah, Hope you all had a nice Thanksgiving. Hopefully you didn't spend too much money on Black Friday. No, I was, uh, I was 0 for Bla Black Friday, which is a good thing. Nice. Good for you. Stayed off Amazon. Same here. Etzcorn now up top. Goes inside. Nice pass inside to Thomas, but he wasn't ready for it. That's six turnovers early on in bat, on Bath, and or on Elida, Bath has four. So it, <laughs> it is a typical first game. And, and two teams trying to find their identity, quite frankly. You're two of the program with both head coaches. But they're trying to find that. It's not an effort issue. It's just a, a sped up issue. 10-6. Elida on top here in the first quarter. Under three minutes to play. That pass goes off the referee. It was going to be a turnover, but Drake Craddock ends up with it. Now Tickle. Tickle backing his way inside, but he shuffled that back foot. 
And, and Bath is, is truly running an open post. There, there is no set offense here as far as set plays. They're, they're trying to use their uh, speed and quickness to get in the lane and penetrate and pitch. That was good defense by Elida. Good look at the Elida student section on beach night here at the field house. Yes, there's always the bathtub theme, it seems like, when you play bath. <laughs> Thomas hands to Island. Island to Etzkorn. Now they swing it back for Island. He stops, pops. Mid range jumper, no good. Fight for the rebound. And a nice job there by Tickle pulling it down. And now Tickle traveled. So Bath gives it right back. Six turnovers both ways. We'll see Zach Welsh check in, the freshman for Bath. Jackson Cobalt back into the game for the Elida Bulldogs. With this lineup, I'd really expect them to get the, try to get the ball inside right now. Run a set to get something down low with their size advantage. Thomas posting up, but the pass taken away. Drake Craddock goes to the rim, goes up. And he's fouled. Two free throws coming up for Drake Craddock. I give this young bat team credit. They've really, their effort defense have been outstanding. And they've hung around because uh, of these kind of plays. Live ball turnovers and got to the free throw line a couple times because of it. It's the second foul called against Jackson Cobalt, excuse me. As Drake Craddock goes back to the line. Two for two from the line so far tonight. First one up, it's good. Elida sends two players in. It's Island and Seth Sharp. Bath sends Xavier Tickle back into the game. And Zori got about a 20 second break and, and it's gonna be hard for Elida to have him off the floor. He runs the offense and really gets things initiated and he's very important to him. Second free throw, no good. 10 to seven now, the Elida lead. Under two to play first quarter. Etzkorn, he goes inside. This is Cam Howard. Etzkorn taking his time. Bath's position defensively has been excellent early on. They're doing a good job of getting the lanes, but also helping on drives. They made it really tough for Elida in the half court. Torrey Thomas picked up his dribble, but now Looks like a flagrant foul called against the referee. Or sorry, against Bath. Pardon me, it's against the Elida. I didn't see what happened, but we've got the benefit of replay here. I did not see that play. I thought they called that on Bath, but they called an intentional foul. Take a look here. Oh, he swung, oh. His, swung his elbow through. So probably not intentional, but they still really try to prevent players from swinging their elbows through and making contact. So the free throw up and good from Xavier Tickle. That was tough. As coaches, you try to teach players to X the ball out, and he got his elbows high on the X out. And you want to try to keep close to your body. He didn't do that. One of two good from Tickle. Closes the gap to two. Don't think it was intentional, but you got to call that in the situation to try to eliminate the, the high contact. Bath gets possession. The fouls have piled up on both teams. They're going to be in the bonus here before long. And that's also typical of game one. <laughs> you reach and grab and, and do some things you don't typically do. Bath with four fouls. Elida with five. 117 and counting here in the first quarter. 10 to 8. Elida on top on the Web Insurance scoreboard. Tickle gives it up to Drake Craddock. Now swung around for Mitch Barr. Barr goes inside. Nice play there to free up Drake Craddock for the layup. And they, the score tied at 10. They ran a little wrinkle there on the back screen on a cut. Made a great cut. That was a really good possession by Bath. And they've really done a good job getting back in this game the first quarter. Weathered the storm. Edscorn with the nice spin. Floats it up. 
floats it in. That's a nice looking basket there for Mr. Etzcorn. He has five points. Yeah, he's got a lot of experience coming back for a lot of two. That was a nice move. Tickle brings it up for Bath. There's Drake Craddock. Craddock pulls up. Mid-range jumper, no good. Thomas with the rebound. Now Island. Island inside, kicks it outside. Three on the way. That's too long. Rebound falls to Thomas, who finishes. And that's what really concerns Bath is the offensive rebounds, the easy bu buckets, and that was a great play there to get a tip and a layup. Tory Thomas gets his first bucket of the night, and we've got a foul at the other end as Tickle hits the deck. That's Elida's sixth team foul, so one more with the bonus, and it's still the first quarter. It's against Seth Sharp, his first. Baseline out of bounds here for Bath. Mitch Barr will send it in. Ball swung around. Here's Jackson Foster. Three-pointer on the way. Drake Craddock. Craddock can't hit. One second on the clock. Ball sent up toward the basket and over the backboard as your first quarter comes to an end. Elida on top of Bath, 14 to 10 here on opening night of boys basketball on WOSN. We'll be right back with the second quarter after this. John Stocker DDS is tonight's premier sponsor for the Elida Bulldogs, providing dental care for high school sports fans. Welcome back to the field house where it's 14 to 10, Elida on top of Bath in this abbreviated version of the tip-off classic here at Elida. Evan Skilleter, Mark Bagley with you on beach night at the field house. Yeah, there's always a lot of energy this time of year in, in Lima land with this tournament. And, you know, it's unfortunate. It's not going to go on as normal schedule. But, again, uh, the field house is a great venue for, for games. So many good games over the years here. Three-pointer on the way. No good. Fight for the rebound. Nice job by Craddock as he gets right through the defense. And in soccer, they let that play go on and count the score. But in basketball, if there's a foul, they're going to stop it. I'm in the World Cup spirit, Mark Bagley. But we've got a foul against Elida. That's number seven against the Bulldogs. It's, it's one on one. And, uh, yeah, you know, soccer is interesting. I know it's a worldwide sport and everybody loves it. And it's a neat venue. I, it's hard to watch a whole game. I watched most of it today when it ends 0-0. I just I have a hard time leaving a game saying, oh, we played great 0-0. So now United States has two ties. And I, I did read where that they uh, win, though they're in the next round. First free throw up and good. A 0-0 tie against a really good England squad is a fantastic result. Soccer fans would argue with you that uh, it was an exciting game despite no score. Second free throw up, that's no good. Rebound pulled down by Bryce Angle. 14 to 11 the score on the Web Insurance scoreboard. Elida back to work, almost a travel. But the ball taken away anyway. Pass ahead, Barr finds Drake Craddock. Craddock outside for Xavier Tickle. Tickle drives, kicks it outside, three-pointer on the way, splash. That's their first made three. They've shot eight free throws, though. Bath has been the aggressor here, uh, you know, to get back in this game. And they're, they're at the free throw line now, the bonus. And that was a nice penetrating pitch there. That was Cole Craddock with the bucket. Nice take inside by Zori Island. A couple players hit the deck as Bath goes quickly the other way. Island up to six points. Bath, excuse me, Lido leading 16 to 14. If Elida will be patient and swing the ball, Evan, they'll get that drive every time. But when the ball sticks, it's, it's easy to, to help. And another foul against Elida. Good aggressive take there by Drake Craddock. Excuse me, that was Cole. And Cole will go to the line for a one and one. For as many fouls as Elida has, they don't really have anyone in foul trouble. Fouls pretty evenly spread out. They played a lot of guys early on here. This is the ninth and possible tenth free throw here coming up for a bath. That was the second foul against Seth Sharp. Cam Howard checks into the game. Cole Craddock at the line. Cole with five points. Shot no good. And, and right now they're five for nine for the line, so they're not capitalizing as much as they could. 
Ball swung around for Island. Island just a sophomore, but plays like an upperclassman. That pass taken away. Drake Craddock with the steal. Drake to the basket, goes up. Nice job drawing contact on his way up. That'll be a foul against Tanner Roberts. It'll be his second. He lied his ninth, and Drake Craddock back to the line. And that's one of the things that I know Coach Taves was going to harp on. That was a great penetration move by Lida, but when you, when you ball fake, you got a bounce pass. And he, he put the ball above his head and right in the passing lane, and that's something that, you know, early on those mistakes happen. But that's the ninth turnover for Lida, and that was one of their keys to avoid turnovers tonight. Nine turnovers already here early in the second quarter. Get the floor cleaned up, and Craddock will shoot two. This is Drake Craddock. Free throw no good. Drake with eight points so far tonight. A couple of those have come from the free throw line. I'm assuming they're brothers. Um, don't know that for sure. Look a lot alike. And, and they've done most of their scoring tonight. That one good. Yeah, all but one bath point tonight coming from either Drake or Cole Craddock. Drake with nine, Cole with five. 1-2-2 two, two trap, and Island split it. Big block there from Tickle. Elida keeps possession. Now Island underneath the basket. Nice job there by Elida taking advantage of the broken play. Bath again going quickly. Pull up three. That's good. Drake Cole, excuse me, Craddock, knocking it down. I'll get those two sorted out at some point. Now a foul at the other end. They did credit Drake with the basket. Bath moving so quickly. It's game one for me too, Bags. I'm struggling to keep up. And here's a block, the block from Tickle. And a great effort play by Lida to get, to get the eventual layup off that block. But that's three charges now for Bath. And, and when you have a young team, when, when you have a young team that, that has that kind of effort, uh, you, yeah, that's great. I mean, three charges. They're willing to do whatever uh, Coach Powell says, and that's very impressive from a young team to, to do those kind of little things. Score tied at 18-10. Fouls against Elida here in the second quarter. Bath still sitting at four team fouls. And now Mitch Barr took too many steps. They give it right back. Five forty-one on the clock. Second quarter of action. Bath back to straight man. Island outside to Etzcorn. Etzcorn tries to force a pass inside. It ends up falling to Cam Howard. Shot no good. Fight for the rebound, and we've got a timeout taken on the floor. It's a Metzger Financial timeout. We'll take it as well. 18-18, your score here at Elida on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is provided by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. That scoreboard reads 18-18 here in Elida. Elida and Bath locked up as you take a look at the Bath student section this time. It's the blackout for Bath tonight. Elida with a baseline out of bounds. Zori Island sends it in. Nice little fake there as Cam Howard took the baseline. He lost the handle and Bath takes it away. That's six steals now for Bath. Their hands are lightning quick and gotten past the lane again. Now Tickle tries the three. That's short, offensive rebound pulled down by Trey Crawford. Drake Craddock feeling it from outside, but shot no good. Etzcorn with the rebound. Elida quickly in transition. Amari Wash outside. Etzcorn deep three, splash. Great inside out. When you get that much penetration, go back out. That's a, that's a uh, great play to get the assist on the three. Can Bath answer? They do. Trey Crawford knocks down the three. The lefty with his first bucket, tying the score at 21. Mid-range jumper, that one goes. Flurry of scoring here as Bryce Angle knocks it in for his first. 23-21. Turnaround jump shot, that one well off. Island coming the other way. 
Island fouled. That'll be five against Bath. Fouls on Bath, number one, Drake Craddock. That's first. against Drake Craddock. It's his first. Craddock with 12 points here in the first and half. And that's been the personalities of both these head coaches. Coach Powell when he was at Bakken's. Uh, and, and then winning a state championship and, and Coach Tate at Perry. They both want to get up and down and play. A couple, look, couple looks at the three-pointers. Etzcorn knocking that one down. Inbound here to Island, who sets things up for Elida. Island gets the high screen. Bath switches. Tickle guarding Island. Out to Etzcorn. That's too long. And Barr grabs the rebound. He's fouled. Torrey Thomas will be tacked with his second. And that'll be two free throws for Bath as they're in the double bonus. Top line number two, Torrey Thomas. Free throws 12 and 13 now. And, and again, what has happened to Lider right now, they're just dribbling the basketball up front. They're not moving the ball, so it's easy to help and defend. And, that's, and they're always in position to rebound then. And then, you know, Lida makes a silly foul there and puts him back to the line. Good look at Mitch Barr there, the 5'10 senior. The lefty makes the first free throw. That's his first point of the night. The foul, as we said, called against Torrey Thomas, his second. Entire Bath team back on defense as that shot no good. 23-22, Elida leads. Here's Island. Island inside, now outside. Three-pointer on the way. Cam Howard can't hit. Rebound kept in bounds by Wash, and now a foul. Shot up. It goes in, but it's an offensive foul. Torrey Thomas now with three as Coach Tabler goes to the bench. Four charges, 12 turnovers. A lot to talk about at half in Coach Tabe's locker room about those kind of plays, and, and again, you know, Bath as a young team has done what they want to do tonight and, and have really tried to control the tempo of this game and have, have it back down. He's done a good job. Travis Adkins checking in his first action of the night as Torrey Thomas takes a seat. I think we have some blood. We'll have to get things cleaned up on the floor. Elida leading this one 23-22. And Xavier Tickle over there trying to clean some stuff up. Our camera operator is looking for the blood on the floor, but I think it's just on a player. Tickle will have a seat. Bath will inbound. Elida stays in that full court press. Man to man. And overall, Bath's done a good job handling it. They had five early turnovers and only had two in the last about 12 minutes. Now here is Cole Craddock. Cole dribbles inside, now kicks it out to Barr. Now here's Trey Crawford in a blocking foul called against Cam Howard. That'll be number one against Howard. And still double bonus as Trey Crawford heads to the line for two free throws. 3.23 on the clock. Crawford ties it at 23. Jackson Cobalt will check back in. Cobalt, one of Elida players in foul trouble. He has three. Pardon me, he has two, but they were two early ones. Second free throw up, that's good. 24-23, Bath on top now, plenty of lead changes in this one. Nine of 15 for the free throw line, and when you, when you shoot that many free throws, there's people in foul trouble. Here's Cobalt up top, Cobalt dribbles inside, picks it up, in trouble, now gets it away. Cam Howard. Howard trying to find somewhere to go. That's a nice pass inside. And how about the hands right there from Travis Adkins to catch that and finish for his first bucket. Great pass, great cut. When you're being pressured, you got a back cut. Three-pointer on the way. That's no good. 
Here comes Island. Elida on top, 25-24. Island outside, three on the way. Splash. Jackson Koval knocks it in. Now a nice pass inside, but the layup no good. Good job defending the rim right there from Adkins and the travel at the other end. Number Wildcats, number 12, Xavier Nothing but net on that three-pointer. And, and he's got a lot of experience back from last year as well. He got himself in foul trouble, but it's set for a while. But, but Coach Tames has a lot of confidence playing with two fouls here late in the, uh, in the second quarter. Koval with two threes. He has six points. He lied it with a four-point lead on the Web Insurance scoreboard. Inside goes Cole Craddock. He goes up, but an offensive foul. I'm not sure I've ever seen six charges and a half, but I have now. I know it. That's a lot of charges, and that's number three against Cole Craddock. That's a big, big foul there. And, and again, typical game one, you try to do too much. It's not because you're being selfish. It's just you're trying to make a play to help your team. He saw a driving angle. That's when you got to jump stop and, and throw that pass to the, to the wing or, or, or the corner. Here's Island. Gives it to Etzkorn. Now Koval. Koval loses the handle. It's taken away. Here's Drake Craddock. The layup. Good. Great. Drake with the extra look at Travis Atkins after that finish. Drake has 14 points to lead all scorers here in the first half. There's that live ball layup turnover that's hard. Ooh, Island puts Barr on the deck. Now to the hoop, sends it outside, but another offensive foul. And, and that was a really good move by, by wow. Zora to get to the lane, but he got to go finish that. He went to the corner instead. And, and again, another charge, and that's 15 turnovers for Elida right now. And that's free throws and turnovers are keeping it you know, bad close, but give them credit. Their effort has been outstanding during the first half. So Bath now with a chance to tie it or take the lead. They trail 28-26, 127 on the clock. Island, by the way, two fouls. Takes a seat, ball taken away. Here's Cam Howard. Howard stops, floats it up, off the front, no good. Adkins with the offensive board. He doesn't finish, and now a foul on the follow-up. That's going to send the junior Seth Sharp to the free throw line. Foul number seven against the Wildcats. And Coach Taves, he wanted 10 and 12 offensive rebounds tonight. They've got eight right now, so that's... That's another thing, keep him in, you know, in the game and, and, and obviously have a small lead right now. Seth Sharp knocks first, in the first. Yeah, first free throws of the night for Elida. It's hard to believe considering how many bath he's had. Yeah, there's <laughs> the fouls, the turnovers, and uh, it's really piled up on, on both teams. Sharp hits both. He has two points. One minute, five seconds to go here in the second quarter, 30 to 26. Elida on top of Bath. Drake Craddock dribbles up top, then gives it away. And, and Bath's going to the four corners. They're trying to get out of half here within striking distance. Tickle to the corner, contested three, that's good. Jackson three, Foster three, knocks it in. Jackson Not much Foster. space to get that shot off. That's a nice looking shot there from the corner. Good penetration and pitch to the corner. Now Edscorn will hold it in the corner. Presumably looking for the last shot as we're under 30 seconds to play in the second quarter. And, and Bath is fine with this. You can see right now they, they've loaded up the box. They've got everybody in, the, in help, good help position. Now they come out, Drake Craddock. Amari Wash, the freshman handling it with Island on the bench. Here's Edscorn, five on the clock. Etzkorn loses the handle, gets it back, goes up, floats it up, floats it in for the buzzer beater. Elida with a 32-29 lead at the half, as you see the three right there from Jackson Foster. He closed it to one, and then Elida with the bucket at the other end. Etzkorn floats it up 
and floats it in. 32-29, your halftime score. We'll be back soon with some halftime adjustments right here on WOSN. Our halftime adjustments are presented by Locks Chiropractic and Weight Loss. Locks Chiropractic and Weight Loss offers area residents good health through chiropractic care. We welcome you back to the Elida Fieldhouse where Elida leads 32-29 in the opening game of this abbreviated tip off classic. Evan Skilleter and Mark Bagley with you tonight. And Bags, let's talk about those halftime adjustments. Yeah, it's a, Evan, it's a typical first game that both teams are really sped up. They want to play that way. But I, I think, first of all, for the visiting Bath Wildcats, they have the defensive rebound this half. I think as the game is worn down, Elida's got eight offensive rebounds. That's going to be a key factor. Who can get easy shots inside? And then for Elida, uh, they've got five charges by over-penetration. And Bath's done a good job with that. But um, that's led to 15 turnovers. And that's way too many for an opening game. So there's a lot of things both teams can do. They probably made some halftime adjustments. We'll see which team does the better because that's gonna, who's going to win the game. Only three points separate these two teams. Elida on top, 32-29 on the web insurance scoreboard. Leading all scorers so far tonight is Bath's Drake Craddock with 14 points. The 5'9 sophomore doing some great work. On the other side, David Edscord with 10 points for Elida, a team that had about 12 to 13 team fouls in that first half. Certainly looking to clean that up here in the second half. And their leader, Zori Island, is actually going to start on the bench in this half. He has two fouls. Correction, Zori is out there. He's out there. I apologize. Yeah. But either way, some foul trouble for this Elida team. As Zori Island, Seth Sharp, Jackson Cobalt, and David Etzcorn all have two fouls each. And Bath's got two players with two or three fouls right now. So both teams are a little foul trouble. Yeah, Drake Craddock has two, and Cole Craddock has three for Bath. Island dribbles inside, now kicks it out. Three-pointer on the way. Cobalt, that's no good. And a fight for the rebound, and goes out. Last touched by Bath. And right off the bat, an offensive rebound for Elida. And that's going to be crucial for the undersized Bath Wildcats, the defensive rebound. Island sends it in over the top. It'll just go to Seth Sharp. And Elida came out that first possession and ran true motion. They went true motion where they went block to block, downstream. Elida's done a, or Bass done a good job being in position. Take things away. Island's going to try the three. Splash. And he makes that. He's really hard to guard. Island up to nine points, extends the lead to six, 35-29 on the Web Insurance scoreboard. This is danger zone time for Bath. They, they really need to, to string together some good possessions. Tickle goes baseline, and are we going to have another offensive foul? We are. We are. Number eight. Eight offensive fouls in this game. It'll be called against Tickle as you get a good look at it from the baseline. And turnovers will also be an issue for, for Bath as they get tired. Um, again, first game, said that a lot tonight, but it's true. Young players get tired, they start getting, uh, it becomes difficult for them. Good camera work there by Clay Jordan on the baseline. Getting you that shot. Good work from our crew. Bringing you replays all night. And now over and back as Island brought it across, but took a step back and put the ball behind the line. Yeah, once you get all three over, you're, you're both feet in the ball, you can't go back over the line. That's what happened. He had all three over and uh, took one step back over the line. Good call. Here's Cole Craddock. Sends it over to Drake. Got a turnover. Bath was on the line right there. So they give it right back to Elida looking to extend this lead. It's the biggest lead of the night for either team, believe it or not. Yeah, and, and both coaches who are, are pretty emotional are, are, are doing a good job of keeping their composure game one. I'm very impressed. A little 1-2-2 two, two, half court trap. 
Glider gets right to the bucket. They go up. No good. Good defense underneath by Xavier Tickle. And last touch by Elida, so Bath gets the team rebound. And that was a good backside battle. In, in the WBL, I've always said the teams that can win the backside war rebounding are the teams that usually are successful because it's a war in this league you know, on the backside. Coach Bags, very familiar with the Western Buckeye League, spending multiple years at Van Wert. This chair is a lot easier to deal with. <laughs> when I go home, I don't have to watch film. Or if you do, it's casual, right? Exactly. And now another offensive foul. I won't call that a charge. We'll just call that an offensive oh, foul. It's going to be Xavier Tickle. That's his third. And for bat number four. Mitch Barr will check in, as will Zach Welsh. Timeout back. We've got a Metzger financial timeout taken by Bath. That's their second of the game as we step aside as well. 35-29, Elida on top. John Stocker DDS is tonight's premier sponsor for the Elida Bulldogs, providing dental care for high school sports fans. Hey, speaking of pearly whites, I'll tell you what, Coach Bagley, the shoes of the coaching staff for Bath are absolutely tremendous. They're wearing the Jordan 1 Lowe's, the UNC colorway. So they've got that nice powder blue. There we go, a little zoom in on those shoes. My goodness, those are beautiful. I saw your shoes tonight, Evan, and I knew you'd know exactly what year <laughs> and brand those shoes would be. So they, they do look sharp. And that was a great timeout by Coach Powell. He sensed that, that, that Bath was really struggling and they need to right the ship here. I like, I like that timeout a lot. Now Etzkorn, nice little take inside as he's fouled on his way up. Bath already with three team fouls here in the second half as Etzkorn goes to the line. Three team fouls, three turnovers, a young team. And, and that timeout was essential to get them. But, but again, a lot of his experience is starting to show a little bit right now. It's the first foul against Zach Welsh as Etzkorn hits the first. Second one on the way, that goes as well. 12 points for Mr. Etzkorn. He's really played a nice floor game tonight. He steadied the ship when things got a little rocky for them, and, and I, I, I love his floor game tonight. We've got a foul against Elida up top. That'll be Seth Sharp. Sharp with his third. So far here in the second half, Elida with five points, Bath with none. Look for something here to get one of the Craddock brothers uh, open for a nice look. Here's Mitch Barr. Now Jackson Foster. Foster, a little fadeaway. Shot short, but it doesn't matter because he traveled. And that's one of the things with the dribble drive offense. You have to have really strong athletic players to be able to make decisions, and that was just a, a, a tough decision there. That pass taken away. Zori Island got a little bit out of control there as he went baseline, didn't have anyone to pass to. Now Bath the other way. Floater inside, that's too hard. And we've got a foul on the rebound. It goes against Bath, so number four against the Wildcats. That's Zach Welsh with his second. One of the rules we always had when we drove baseline is look to the opposite corner. It's hard to, in, in traffic to throw a bounce pass in the lane, but if your backside guard sinks the corner, it's impossible to guard. Um, and so that's something that, you know, that, that he'll get better at as he, as he grows the point guard and, and just went a little too quick there. Now Elida back to work. Island dribbles to the top to set up the offense. Sends it over to Bryce Angle. They're going one and four out right now. They're trying to isolate the post. Island had some space, misses the three. Offensive rebound goes to Angle. Angle goes inside. He's blocked by Tickle. Tickle with a couple blocks tonight as he goes to the rim but can't finish. Cobalt ends up with the rebound. Cobalt passes ahead to Seth Sharp. He misses at the other end. And now another turnover. Sharp still back, kind of cherry picking. This is the layup. Angle gets the rebound. He's fouled and finishes. What in the heck did we just watch? Well, if we had circus music in the truck right now, they'd be playing it. <laughs> but uh, again, 
Uh, Elijah just made a, another effort hustle play there after multiple turnovers. These are the things you see on Twitter from the NBA when there's when there's balls being thrown off the backboard back and forth. But again, it's, it's not for lack of effort. It's just game one and, and lots of things happening. Kids are trying to play hard and make the individual play. It's the fourth foul against Xavier Tickle. Not what Bath wanted to see early on here in the half. It's, a, it's up to 10 points here. We've talked about this. Bath needs a good possession right now. Here's Trey Crawford. Three-pointer on the way. Angle, no good. Nice rebound there by Bryce Angle. Pardon me, that was Mitch Barr with the three. And that was a great possession defensive by Lyon. He got great ball pressure and contested shot. Island got to the basket, couldn't finish. Now Craddock at the other end, gives it up to his brother Cole. Three-pointer on the way, Trey Crawford, he can't hit. Bryce Angle grabs the rebound. Island, he double dribbled. And some substitutes entering the game for Elida. Tanner Roberts will check in, as will Tori Thomas. Angle and Island both getting a breather. And we know that Bass could shoot a lot of free throws, Evan, this year, but they haven't scored in five minutes of this quarter, so they've got to find a way to get an easy basket here. And it's hard when you're not shooting great to get off that zero point. Three-pointer from the corner, that's short. Good ball movement from Bath. That was much better, but legs are getting a little tired now, and everything comes up short when you get tired. That's Horn passes to Roberts. Roberts hits the mid-range J. And now Elida with a 41-29 lead. It's a 9-0 third quarter so far, and a timeout taken on the floor. 2.48 to go as you take a look at that mid-range jumper. Elida on top, 41-29 here on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. 41-29, and a light of timeout after a great start to this half. 9-0 so far here in the third quarter for Elida. I like that timeout by Coach Taves. I, 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 even though they had made a good run here to start the third quarter, I still think he wants them to no, now look at time and score. And, Every possession matters and really make Bath try to speed them up and make them take shots they don't want to shot, shoot and then offensively get the ball where they want to get it. Elida back to that full court look. Ball inbounded for Cole Craddock. And he's, he's struggled a little bit because he's had three fouls. He hasn't been quite as aggressive and they all have in this quarter. Here's Drake Craddock goes inside, turn around, jump shot. That's short. Good defense there from Jackson Cobalt who grabs the rebound as well. And you notice all their shots are, are short right now, Evan. Etzcorn goes baseline, can't finish. Rebound goes to Drake Craddock. Craddock pulls it out, and yeah, you're right, Coach. It's certainly tough, especially on opening night in a track meet like we've seen here. You ask the referees during that timeout if they needed some oxygen. You can see them struggling to get up and down the floor as well. As we've got a foul oh, called Tanner against Roberts. Elida's Tanner Roberts. That's number three against Roberts, number two against Elida on the half. And they've done a really good job. This is a tough game to officiate with, with some of the sloppiness that happens in, uh, in game one. And they've done a really good job of, of, of making them you know, play basketball and keeping it clean. Back to work. Here's Drake Craddock. Drake spins inside, now goes out. Three-pointer on the way. That's good. Jackson Foster knocks it in. He's had two threes. He's got a nice good shot and a young player. Grown up fast. Etzcorn thought about a three, but instead skips it across, and it's finished at the rim by Cam Dang. Howard. Howard with his first bucket of the night. 43-32, 11-point lead for the Bulldogs. Here's Bath with Cole Craddock. Craddock guarded by Etzcorn. Craddock to the right, scoops it up, scoops it in. Good finish there for the sophomore. Yeah, both those uh, brothers are shifty and change speeds well. 
Petscorn pulls up. That's no good. Good box out inside as Drake Craddock grabs the rebound. Drake outside to Cole. Cole for three. That's short. Island pulls in the rebound. Island just a quick break as he came in after that timeout. He has it taken away. Drake Craddock. Craddock goes to the hole, goes up. No good. He's fouled hard, but he'll get back up. Good sportsmanship under the basket there as he's helped up by Cam Howard. And the turnover woes, they got up 12, and the turnover woes have come back for Elida. Those live ball turnovers. Hard foul. That's number two against Cam Howard, number three against Elida. Free throw up, it's good. 15 points for Drake Craddock, he leads all scorers. This fast pace, we're seeing lots of subs here at the end of the third quarter to try to get both teams in position to finish strong here in the fourth. Drake's second free throw up and good as well. He'll take a seat. Placed here by Zach Welsh. 43-36 now on the Web Insurance scoreboard. 47 seconds to go in the third quarter. Island brings it up. Three timeouts left for either team. The Elias will try to play for one. There's lots of philosophies on this. And sometimes it, it becomes one turnover and sometimes it becomes one great possession. But you have to practice these situations. Uh, that's what people don't understand. You have to do these things in practice time because you just can't do it in the game. It won't, it won't work out for you. Let's say a high ball screen. Uh, shooter in the corner. Island dribbling to his left. Island's going to go all the way to the hole. Floats it up. No good. And the second attempt is blocked right there by Jackson Foster. And that's how the third quarter will end. Elida with a 43-36 lead here in the opening night of the tip-off classic at the Fieldhouse. We'll be right back with the fourth quarter after this on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is provided by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and Bluffton. Welcome back to the Elida Fieldhouse where Elida leads 43-36 on that Webb Insurance scoreboard as we are ready to start a fourth quarter here. Evan Skilleter and Mark Bagley with you tonight and an abbreviated tip-off classic. LCC not able to play, so tomorrow night, Elida will take on Shawnee. Shawnee Indians actually have a team full of guys that just played soccer a few weekends ago in the state championship. Congratulations to the Shawnee Indians, the first team in our coverage area at WOSN to win a soccer state title. That's, uh, that's phenomenal because it, soccer is, is not typically a Northwest Ohio sport, but they, they've really, a very good basketball player has been key to that success too. Yeah, I can't wait to watch Mr. Miller on the court here this winter. Bath with the three to open the quarter. It's no good, but an offensive rebound. Barr kicks it outside. This is Foster. Foster to Craddock. Craddock's three, splash. Three by that lead's gone from 12 down to down to four, and, and just a great job by Bath with staying with it. Craddock with 19 points here on opening night. The sophomore lighting it up. He's got his team back to within four. Elida trying to get something going. Here's Cobalt, gives to Island. Island almost ran into a double team, gives it up to Cobalt. He answers. Big shot. He, his composure is really good, and, and, and I really like that, that play that he made there on the shot. It's three threes for Cobalt tonight. Three on the way at the other end. That's well short. Island with the rebound. He'll take it quickly the other way. Island inside. Almost travels. Gets it out to Edscorn. Edscorn with the spin, and he's fouled. Barr came over and helped. That'll be number two against Barr. 
for second at the line shooter. They were that squad. Number six against Bath of the half. Lida shoot one and one. On the next foul, as Etzcorn hits the first of two, he has 13 points to lead to the Bulldogs tonight. Well, the two juniors here, back-to-back -back possessions, have kind of steady the ship for Elida. With Kovalt's three and, and, and then Escorn's uh, nice drive, spin move. Escorn gets that one to go as well. And, and it goes from four to nine, just like that. 48-39 on the Web Insurance scoreboard. Now to the rim go the Wildcats and another offensive foul. That one drawn by Bryce Angle. And it's the fourth foul against Cole Craddock. We're nearing double figures on charges. And, and quite frankly, the right calls. There's a lot of drives that, that are a good effort plays, but they're out of control. And talk about you know the fundamental aspect of jump stopping and making the right play. That's what happens with young teams early on, and, and that's, they'll learn from this and watch the film and get better. Bath will press full court. Island will inbound. Island sends it in for Koval. The foul situation has kind of reversed this half, too. A lot is the bonus. Bath won't. Uh, Bath only had, there's only three team fouls. Nice recovery there. Etzcorn trying to find angle underneath, but Zach Welsh comes in and kicks it away. Elida can be really patient now and make Bath uh, foul or come out and get him, and then that's when you you can back back screen or back cut to get layups. They send it in over the top to Cam Howard. Howard gives it back to Island. Island pulls up for three. Splash. Three point Zori Island. Zori Island looking good from outside. He has 12 points. That lead up to 51-39. Deep three taken by Drake Craddock. That one's short. Everything's short right now. After they got to four, now it's back to 12. That's Corn sends it outside. He gets it right back. Good effort play right there. Bass hands have been outstanding tonight. They, they have done a great job of getting tips and and deflections. Craddock tries another long three. That one goes. And a quick Metzger financial timeout taken by Bath. It's a full timeout as they're back to within nine. 22 points for Drake Craddock as we get a look at the Zori Island three. And a look at the other end, the deep three from Craddock for 22 points. And Elida on top, 51 to 42. Are you looking for uh, the perfect gift for an out-of-town sports fan? WOSN can now be streamed anywhere in the world online on Roku and Apple TV for a $100 annual donation. Give the gift of hometown sports for the holidays. Sign up on app.wosn.tv or by downloading our Roku or Apple TV apps. 51-42 here at Elida. The Bulldogs on top of the Bath Wildcats on the opening night of the tip-off classic. Evan Skilleter and Mark Bagley with you, as well as a whole host of WOSN crew members led by Ben Reif. And Bath jumps that pass, not able to keep it in, but good effort by Mitch Barr. I'm sure the whole crew likes the nice indoor weather better than, than the outdoor weather they had last Friday and Saturday. No kidding. Win, winter hit uh, January last weekend, and this weekend is oh, yeah. much more like uh, Number zero. Sorry, October. We're almost up to 70 tomorrow, according to the forecast. It's getting nicer and nicer. <laughs> That's right. Maybe we'll just skip winter. We'll go right into spring. I'll still, still take winter sports, though, please. Yes, indoors. Bats extending that 1-2-2 two, two zone. Try to create turnovers off that. I look for Lida to spread them out a little bit and get the shot they want. They're in the bonus the rest of the game. Edscorn goes inside. He drug that pivot foot. They really haven't solved the turnover problem, but they've done enough, made enough plays to keep them back uh, nine points down with five minutes to go. And 
The start of the third quarter was really what her bath tonight. That's where the, the damage was done. Hard to climb up, up you know, up that mountain that many times. Absolutely. Good representation from the student sections tonight as they're going back and forth with the spirit chant. Three-pointer on the way. That's no good. Craddock pulled up. Short again. Now Cobalt the other way. Cobalt backs it up. Ball swung around for Island. That's Corn. Trying to isolate down low. One in, four out. Size advantage in there as Angle is posting up. You got to move the ball though so you can seal. Right now they're holding the ball and it's easy to defend it because you can have help side as well. Cobalt gets the pass, pulls up, jump shot is no good. Nice one-handed rebound there by Drake Craddock. And you mentioned the student se sections, Evan. It's great. This is what Northwest Ohio is all about. We have great uh, crowds, great student sections that take a lot of pride in their communities. Absolutely. And this is a fantastic venue for high school basketball. Doing some renovations here at the field house. They've closed off the doors that are normally behind us. Gonna be a really nice concession stand yeah. and, and, and they've painted the bleachers and painted the field house. And last few years the floor's been done. This is a great venue. Nice take to the hoop and the finish by Cole Craddock. Cole up to Cole nine points. Right. Goes to the gap to seven, but that's going with the easy layup at the other end. And that's what Coach Tabe's teams do. They do run back at you when you make a layup. You, you cannot jog back. Craddock goes around the defender, can't finish. Island with the rebound. Zori Island quickly the other way. Island lost the handle, and it stays with Elida. And that's what Bath can't do right now is exchange buckets. They need to make some kind of run here. Try to finish this game. Island sends it in. Nice little fake there. Cam Howard goes baseline and finishes. They run that play about three times yeah. tonight, and, and uh, they bid on it again. At the bucket, Trey Crawford can't finish. Island comes the other way. Island to Etzcorn. He pulls the trigger. No good. Great rebound there by Zach Welsh. He was going for the knockout punch, and it, although that you know would have been great, it, it, you, you hope he pull back out, and run some offense. But again, he, he's had a really good game tonight, and he, and he felt felt it was open. Yep. Right on top by 11, 55-44 on the Web Insurance scoreboard. Stay tuned afterward for our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winner. Catch our past Stolly Insurance Hustle Award winners on our YouTube page. Just search WOSN. That shot at the basket, no good. Offensive board, put back no good from Seth Sharp. Now a quick pass ahead. Outside, deep three, that's short. You said that a lot here in the, in yeah. the, in the, in the late third and fourth quarter. It's just the, the game was really fast paid, game one. Good timeout by Coach Tabes. So Tabler takes the timeout. They'll have two remaining as we take a look at Bath's upcoming schedule. They'll play tomorrow at Ottoville. Then Tuesday they'll take on Lima Central Catholic. And then next Friday against Shawnee, a team that we're expecting to be pretty solid out of the gate. Yeah, I'm going to do Shawnee uh, at Crestview next Friday. That should be a really good game. I'm looking forward to, to heading over to Convoy, a short drive, and uh, watch both the Knights and, and Shawnee. We talked about Elida playing Shawnee tomorrow night. For next Friday, they'll be at Spencerville. And then Saturday, a matchup with Delphi St. John's right here in the Fieldhouse, a game you can catch on WOSN. Looking forward to that one. A lot of high school hoops coming up. We started the season last Friday at the Bath QP Tip-Off Classic. It's an upcoming schedule on WOSN. Tomorrow you can catch Napoleon in Defiance live at 7.30. St. Henry and Spencerville boys at 9 p.m. And at 10, you can catch the Shawnee Elida game on WTLW. It's going to be really interesting Northwest Ohio, Evan. A lot of teams lost lots of players last year. There, there aren't a ton of veteran teams coming back this year. so. With, with football going so long and the crossover, it's going to be, I, I, I say now about January 15th, we'll start to get an idea of 
who really is starting to take shape and, and, and who the contenders really are because it's early on it's hard. Absolutely, and then four local teams playing in the state semifinals. You can catch those on WOSN as well. LCC and New Bremen facing off, and Marion Local in Columbus Grove. Back to action here as Elida goes baseline, and Jackson Cobalt finishes at the bucket for points that, 10 and 11. That was a great patient shot fake foot jab uh, to get his defender up in the air and, and then shot a layup. Mari Wash will get tacked with the foul, his first team fifth as you get another look at that layup. And that's only 14 fouls, so a lot of can continue to be aggressive, smart, and if they get beat, they get a foul, and there's no harm. 13 point lead for Elida, 142 to go. Barr goes baseline, kicks it outside, pass was tipped. Bath keeps it, good ball movement, ends up with a three. Xavier Tickle can't finish. That's Corn grabs the rebound. That was great ball movement there by Bath. Just didn't, didn't make the shot. Now it's going to be a free throw game here to finish up. That'll be the fifth foul against Cole Craddock. Sends Zori Island to the line. And Cole got off to a great start tonight. Once he got in foul trouble, it, it, it kind of took away some of his aggressiveness. And, you know, it's a, a tough opening game. But uh, I, I want to give Bath a lot of credit tonight. Their effort was outstanding. I think they're going to really grow this year with a young team, with a lot of sophomores. Island's first free throw up and good. He has 13 points. The balance and experience of Elida came through tonight in the second half, and that's what you know propelled them to this 14-point cushion. Island gets them both. 14 points for him, 59 for Elida. A 15 point lead for the Bulldogs as Island will take a seat. Wash checks in for him. Here's Drake Craddock. Craddock hits the deck, able to keep possession, but only momentarily as we have a tie up and the arrow favors Elida. Island. Checking out for defense and back in for offense. He was still getting a drink over there as he pops back in. So it's good. He's, the, these kind of games. Bass doing that right now. Some of young guys in to get some a little bit of experience. You never know when, when you may need depth. You know, as the year goes on in a 22-game schedule. Logan Markley checking in, the freshman with his first action of the night. Here's Etzkorn. 60 seconds to play here at Elida on opening night. Etzkorn up top. Etzkorn guarded by Markley. Now backs it out. Now double team up top, Island. Has his pass knocked away. Etzcorn grabs it, passes it ahead to Drake, excuse me, to Seth Sharp, and Sharp is fouled. Foul is, bat number 13, Jackson Foul is against Foster. Jackson Foster, his first team ninth. 37 on the clock, and this one out of reach for Bath as Elida sends Tanner Roberts into the game. Also number five, Travis. Good start for the Bulldogs after a three-win season last year. Will win their first of the season here. Two coaches in their second year at their respective program. Matt Tabler, Matt Elida, Sean Powell at Bath. Free throw good from Seth Sharp. Sharp now with three points. Second one on the way. It's no good. Rebound pulled in by Brendan Ryan. And I think both teams will learn a lot from this game. They'll be able to watch the film and regroup next week. And there's a lot of improvement made from week one to week two in, in high school basketball. 
Layup no good. That should do it as they get the rebound. Hand off to Amari Wash. Wash dribbles up. It's guarded by Eli Jesko of Bath. Again, stay tuned. After this, we'll have our Stolly Insurance Hustle Award as Elida wins on opening night 60 to 44 as we step aside. We'll be right back with more on WOSN after this. Welcome back to the Fieldhouse in Elida for tonight's Stolly Insurance Hustle Award presentation. You can check out highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WOSN YouTube page. And tonight, Mark Bagley, the winner is David Etzcorn. Yeah, David played a really nice four game tonight. And whenever they needed a bucket or a play, he made it, uh, whether it was a free throw or a basket or a three. I, I think early on he, he carried him a little bit when they were struggling, and then late in the, in the game, he finished the game strong for him. And just had a nice overall four game for Elida tonight. Congratulations to Mr. Escorn, and congratulations to the Elida Bulldogs who win tonight 60 to 44. Want to thank the Elida Athletic Department for their hospitality tonight. Want to thank the WOSN crew of Lexi Waddle, Caitlin Henderson, Chloe Waddle, Clay Jordan, Megan Sherrick, and of course our leader, Ben Reif. And as always, want to thank you, the viewer, for tuning in to high school basketball on WOSN. One more time, your final from Elida, the Bulldogs 60, the Bath Wildcats 44. For Mark Bagley, I've been Evan Skilleter signing off. Have a great night and God bless. <laughs>